All right, welcome to the first exercise in MasterCam for SOLIDWORKS. In this exercise, we're gonna be machining a few different features. And there's a reason why I designed the part this way, is to show you how to machine these features. For example, we're gonna be machining this side right here. We're gonna be machining a chamfer, an open pocket right here, and a few radiuses around the part. So this is a pretty easy exercise, and it's a very good beginning exercise for MasterCam for SOLIDWORKS. So go ahead and please open up this part. It's gonna be called exercise one in your exercise files folder. So please open it up, it looks just like this. You may rotate it by holding down the scroll button in your mouse and just rotating it left and right just so you can see how it looks like. And you will also notice that the origin is kind of floating randomly in a certain spot. Now we're gonna learn how to change that. Remember, in the intro to MasterCams for SOLIDWORKS uh, tutorial, I showed you guys how to move that to this corner and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our part. So in this session, we're just gonna set up our part so we can start learning how to uh, program toolpath in the next exercise, in the next session. So let's go ahead and set that up. So now that we have the part open, go ahead and click on Plane Manager. And you wanna make sure that MasterCam top is selected because we wanna use the top view. Again, you can create your own view uh, and geometry if you want and select a different view. But for the plane, we're gonna use the top plane to machine on. So make sure you have that selected and both the world coordinate system and the tool plane are both uh, selected. So all you have to do to make sure that, click on OK and it will select both of them. For example, if I go to the front and select equal to, you can see that the T and the world coordinate system plane will both move to the front view. But I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that they're both on the top. So go ahead and click on equals. Second, in the origin. Come over here and you're going to see that the origin right there is 0, 0, 0. So for example, this is actually at 0, 0, 0 of MasterCam. But we don't want to do that. We actually want to move it to this corner. It doesn't help us being over here. We want to make sure that we select a 0, 0, 0 start uh, point for MasterCam. So go ahead and select this arrow. And come over here. And because there's really not uh, any point above this I can select, remember I want it to be leveled with this, uh, with this side, with the top. But there's only... A corner the only corner I can select is this corner right here so for now select this corner which is a vertex and then click on the check mark and now we'll give it the value negative 5 negative 1 and 0.5 now if you move this a little bit you're gonna see that the X Y and Z coordinates uh, are created for master cam are moved from here to this corner but remember we are actually half an inch above that if you're not sure how far to move to move it in the Z axis Remember, this is, there's the Z, so we know we're going to move it up in the Z. Uh, go ahead and open up your, your uh, drawing, which I have included also in the Exercise Files folder, and it'll look just like this. And we're going to notice that if we come down here to this bottom view, to this front view, you're going to see that there's a half an inch between this surface and the top, which means the bottom of the surface and the surface, there's a half an inch. So we know that I have to move my Z axis right here a half an inch. So just add a half an inch to Z, which would make it 1.0 and select OK. And you're going to see that the uh, X, Y, and Z now moves up half an inch in Z. So it's kind of floating over here, but that's exactly where I want it to be. So let's keep it over here and let's set up the rest of the part. So tool settings and stock setup are used to set up the rest of the part. So come over here under tools. And remember, just well, like we discussed in the intro to MasterCam for SOLIDWORKS, Select program number one for program number one. This is exercise number one. So we'll keep the program number being number one. And go ahead and select all of these. Check all of them, just like I showed you. And the reason why I've showed you, if you have not watched the intro to MasterCam uh, section, please go ahead and go through that before you get started with the exercises. We're going to keep it as aluminum. We don't care about the material at this point or the feed rates and spindle speeds at this point. Remember, I'm just teaching you master cam not cnc machining so go ahead and click on stock setup make sure rectangle is selected and master cam top uh, plane is selected as well click on display and let's go ahead and select a bounding box and master cam will automatically place a bounding box all around your part now one thing i didn't go over in the intro to master cam uh, for solid work section is the expand x y and z now what are those used for they're very they're used to add stock to your part. For example, if I just move up in Y, you're gonna see, I'm gonna put it in the front view so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is Y, that's why there, you can see X and Z are here. So that means Y is towards you and away from you. 
okay so if i click on i'm sorry uh, this is an x yeah so y is towards you and away from you so there is x here and i'm expanding x right here so the more i expand it the more master cam adds material okay so that bounding box is actually the stock that you're starting with so if you're if the material you're starting with is 0.4 extended from each side it will that's where you come over here and select 0.4 and it will expand it if i don't do nothing if i leave them at 0, 0, 0 which i will leave them right now it will be the box will be perfect so for example if i come over here and machine the top or the right side or this side right here nothing is going to be machined because my starting block is the same exact machine uh, width so it doesn't it doesn't make sense for me to start with something and machine this side as well but i'm going to keep it this way just for this exercise and in the future exercises i will show you how to expand that and machine it but for now let's keep the bounding box around this part exactly as it is and i will expand it in the future exercises okay so keep it at zero 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 click on okay and there you go it's going to say it's a six by seven by one inch block which if i go to my uh, drawing you're going to see that it is a six by seven five plus two and by one so it created a box a, a bounding box uh, around my part exact same dimension so that means i'm only going to be really seeing the machining of of this pocket i'm going to click on ok to accept this real quick so it's only going to show me the machining of this pocket this side right here uh, this open contour and the radius is over here as well as the chamfers as well but it will not show me machining of the sides that uh, on the sides over here for example these sides this one in the back side and the back sides over here as well because i'm i did not add any material to be machined so for I'm, I'm starting out with a block the same exact size block that i will end up machining so there's going to be sections where even though i machine it nothing is showing up okay and you'll see what i'm talking about in our next session or in two sessions from now when i machine the uh, when i face mill the top surface right here you're not going to see anything being machined when i verify my operation because i don't have stock over here if i put it into the front view you're going to see that the bounding box ends right here i'm going to show you how to how to face mill it but it will not show you machining because it is equal to the top surface all right so in the next session we're going to start by creating a toolpath for this section right here